guys, how are you doing today? I hope that you're doing amazing and fantastic and wonderful. I thought that I would take you on my journey for creating goals for 2024. Um, we're going to start off with morning, Courtney. So uh, literally rolled out of bed, Courtney, dropped off the boys from school, Courtney. So let's go talk to her and um, see what she's up to. Good morning, everyone. It is January 2nd. And this is my last day before I go back to work, before adultness rears its head and I have to go back to work. The boys are at school. So that means that I have until 3.30 today to get my whole entire list of things done that I need to get done. It is 7.30 right now. So I've got from 7.30 until 3.30 to get just my task lists for today done. And one of the things that I am going to start using that is new is Notion. So I have seen Notion like from all of the sort of like DIY kind of YouTubers, those ones that like do a lot of designs and things like that. And I really wanted to sort of dive deeper into how I can use Notion as a way to keep up with my year goals, to keep up with my task lists and have access to it on my computer, but also have access to it on my phone. And Notion is free. Um, this is just me sharing it with you guys. I am not in affiliation with Notion at all, but I thought that it was pretty cool. Without further ado, let me just take you on a whirlwind tour of my uh, my notion set up, my task lists, and things like that. So many of you guys message me and are like, how do you do it? How do you do it all? Um, my therapist would say that I never slow down and that I should probably take more breaks, but I always have to feel the need of being productive. I don't know what that says about me, um, but uh, yeah, so here it is. So here is my Notion setup. This is just my quarterly goal settings and setup. But like one of the th reasons why I'm really excited about this is I created a task list of things that I need to do. And so this is just today's task list. I have a uh, film my book battle finale update, film my 2024 goals, um, my most anticipated books in 2024, then boring things like my laundry, meal prep, and then I've got some book club things that I need to do. So I've got to announce January's book, create the bookmark for January, send reading recommendations for those that are on tier three or two and three, and then I need to create my winter TBR suggestions for those that are on tier three. And then I started... Um, reaching out to editors for Death on Deck. And so I have, I think, four um, offers right now on um, just going through a developmental edit or just like a, a I just want to make sure that I'm tightening up everything that I can. And so I need to go through those and decide um, who I am going to go with. So that's just my tasks for today. Um, they also have like a, a really, really cool like reading list. Um, this is just what they like pre put in here, but I could go, I'm going to go through and uh, fill it out on here just, to, just for funsies. Um, there's journaling. So you can do journaling. Again, these are not mine, but they give you sort of examples on what you can do. This is my task list that I just showed you. There's personal home. So like recipes, yearly goals. Again, this is just pre-made for you. Um, if I click on recipes, I can go here um, and I can add them. And then you can sort of like go to all recipes, boards, like there's all different kinds of things that you can do. And then this is the template that I purchased for um, my yearly goal. And so I started filling it out. So um, my word for the year is learn. Um, my three priorities are be more intentional with my time with the boys, accepting that I am a writer and that I just need to keep trying to get my work out there, be more present. My annual affirmation is I am a good mom and will be a published author. 
I, it, it, this is all rough, <laughs> just so you know. There's visions for 2024. So here's sort of like my vision board for 2024. I want to eat healthier. I want to um, get my reading in. I want to be able to bake with with Alex at least uh, once a month. I want to um, make sure that I am writing every day, doing fun activities, having uh, intentional date nights with my husband, just those sort of uh, things. Again, a lot of these pictures were already um, created for me. Then there is uh, my annual goals. And so um, here's one of them, get an agent or self-publish death on deck. So it, it's why I want to achieve this goal. So this will prove to me that I am an author. To know that someone else believes in my writing and wants to help me get it out into the world would be wonderful. If Death on Deck isn't picked up by an agent, I will publish it myself, proving that I believe in my own um, writing uh, and how I will get this goal. So I'm already starting now by getting an editor for Death on Deck. I will implement the edits to Death on Deck and either re resubmit to a few agents or self-publish. And then I'm going to start layering literary stitches and finish my second draft. Get, then I need to get beta readers, implement their feedback, get new beta readers for those feedbacks, and create a proposal for the series and start querying new agents. So I have three main goals for the year. Uh, one's to get an agent or self-published death on deck. Another one is to be more comfortable in my own skin. And then the last one is to create a better balance of time with Aaron and time with the boys. Different things. I like how it breaks it down into smaller goals. And so you can go into your quarterly goals and you can, um, it'll, it actually has like your whole entire list right here. And so as you see here, we've got quarter one, January, February, March, and it's, you know, what, when's my deadline to get this done? Well, it's the, you know, the end of March. How will I know if I've achieved this, if I get an agent or if I self publish, I'm really enjoying uh creating this so let's go back to um big courtney so this is just a short little video i i don't know i just thought that i would share this with you i have not showered today and i have no makeup on hello cleo um but i was just getting things done for the morning and i thought that you might like to take a peek on sort of how I organize things in my mind. So yeah, this is just a, a short Tuesday video. All right, so now that you've sort of seen how I have organized my overall goals for 2024, just having like three main goals and then revisiting them every quarter, breaking them into smaller, smaller goals. Um, I hope that that sort of has giving you some inspiration. You don't have to use Notion. You can use regular old pencil and paper, which is what I started out with. I am one of those people who are very, very goal oriented. So I, I have to have those checklists. Like I said, I have to be able to mark off what I've done when I've done it. And it gives me a sense of control um, of things that are going on in my life. And I feel like once I can check things off the list, I know that the ball is rolling and I can continue making progress. But I do have other goals that I didn't put in my 2024 um, like overall goals because I wanted to have one writing goal, one health goal, and then one family goal. Um, but there are a lot of other things that I do that I do have goals for. So for this year, I don't, I always set my reading goal on um, Goodreads. I always start at like 52, um, which is what I did at the beginning of last year. And we all saw how that I, you know, had a book battle with my husband. If you missed it, you can go and check that one out. Um, and I read 169 books last year, but I did face burnout a lot. And I don't want to have... Oh, as much as I can control, I don't want to have a lot of burnt out moments. So I'm slowing down my reading. Um, and I think that I'm going to enjoy that. And it's also going to allow me more time creatively to write down notes and things for story ideas and those kind of things. 
Um, I really want to read more of my shelves. I did a lot better last year of tackling my TBR that I have physically. Now, did I read them physically? No. I listened to them on audiobook from my library and I loved being able to do that. Um, so I'm gonna read even more books from the library because it's just fiscally better and um, it helps support the local library and I, I love being able to do that. Um, some of my bookish goals that aren't necessarily reading, I want to rearrange and order all of the books in my um, office. I have a lot of books here that I, I'm not going to get to and they, maybe I bought them just to buy them or maybe they sounded interesting at the time and have there been times where I've done unhauls and then I've regretted unhauling the books that I've done? Yes. But I, I really want to be able to have the books that are physically in my office be the ones that I am in love with. I now know that I, I am an audiobook reader. I am an avid audiobook reader. I love reading physically, don't get me wrong. Um, but with having two littles, I don't necessarily have the time to be able to, I tried, I got, I, got, uh, I think like five physical books for Christmas. And I tried to crack open one of the books that my husband got me and I couldn't even get through five pages while my kids were like running around, they needed help, they needed this, they needed this. Whereas with an audiobook, as I'm doing dishes, I can listen to it and I'm still being productive, but it's not like a thing that I have to think about being productive and so then I can listen to an audiobook, so yeah. But so I do want to unhaul um, a lot of my books. Um, and I'm gonna put them on Pango. And so for those that don't know, I have a Pango account where I can sell my uh, my books. And I normally put them at a pretty good discount because one, I want them out, and two, I want more money to uh, buy audiobooks or different things for my channel. Um, I'm saving up for, um, for edits for Death on Deck because I want it to be the best book that it can possibly be. And paying for a good editor is not cheap. So yeah, now for social media. I had a lot of goals last year. Like I rewatched my 2023 goals um, and one of my goals was to reach 4,500 to 5,000 subscribers. Now I did make it to 4,840, which is fantastic. Um, but then I got sad because I didn't make it to 5,000. And I, I really need to realize that it's, you guys are my community. You guys are my favorite people. If you think that someone else will like me, share my videos. Um, but I really just want to grow organically. I don't pay for ad space and I don't, you know, do anything like that. And so, um, I don't know if I should, uh, but I, I normally, like, I just want to grow by word of mouth and you all liking my stuff and sharing my stuff. So if you guys could keep doing that, that's great. Fantastic. And then, um, I will do a whole entire episode on series that I'm behind on, but I just want to be more intentional and I want to be, um, I want to just put out more authentic content that are, that is just fun for me. Um, and then hopefully it's fun for you. But what are your goals for 2024? I would love to know, but that's the end of this chapter of Court Tagonist. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time guys, happy reading. Bye.